Calm down. It's red paint, guys. This material was supplied by Tyne Valley Metals, a Tasmanian seller with a variety of aluminium, tool steel, 4140 and a lot more. And there's a link below if you're interested. With the stock being so short and the sides not machined, there's no guarantee that this part is going to be truly parallel when it's flipped around. So I'm going to do some extra work to make sure it's absolutely parallel. Over at the surface plate we can see my suspicion is correct. It might be overkill but I'm going to try and get this part as flat and parallel to the best of my ability. And hey, I've got this fancy new surface grinder, I might as well put it to use. After touching off, I plunged a little bit too deep for my first pass, and I'm actually below my final finished surface. But I'll run with it and I'll make it work. The part has been deburred with a stone. It's now 10 millimeters plus or minus 5 microns. I'll take it. Over at the mill I'm going to cut off a point to hide that defect. And defect gone. And this will make for a convenient place to drill and tap and mount a cable. My router is run off a gerbil setup. Wiring up the touch probe is pretty straightforward. One cable needs to connect to analog pin 5 and the other one to ground. I performed multiple tests and found the probe was repeatable to at least 10 microns. I'd also like to be able to pick up the corner of a piece of stock or a part, so let's make a different type of probe. The shape I aim to get to is kind of an L shape. Before I hog out lots of material, I'm going to take it over to the surface grinder. Something tells me that balancing an L on the tip to surface grind one of the edges is a bad idea. So let's grind all the edges now while it's still a square. There's a risk that this part might go flying under the cutting forces, so I'm putting a sturdy block behind it just to give it a bit of support. Now I'll cut this to form an L, and while I'm at it, I might as well put the off cut to use. The all new touch plate with a sleek metallic appeal featuring six faces and excessive precision, suitable for all ages and allergy friendly. The Tommy Gun Machining Touch Plate. Get it today on eBay. I squared up the internal surfaces on the mill. There's no way for me to surface grind right into the corner, so I'm gonna have to make some sort of groove. My intention was to use a slitting saw, but my arbor doesn't let me get in close enough. The angle doesn't matter too much, so I've just scribed a 45 degree line and I'm just aligning it by eye to the vise. Now back to the surface grinder and we'll trim up these last two internal faces. I'm cautiously sneaking up on that vertical surface because I don't want to slightly overshoot and scuff up the surface. I decided to aim for the parallel faces of the L to be 10 millimeters apart. And success. And amazingly, it actually worked first. As fun as it is running these cables out every single time I need it and risking them getting tangled, I reckon I can come up with something better. So I use the existing cable trace and permanently house the probes near the router head. I tried mounting the probes with magnets, and while they might work, I'm not entirely satisfied with this approach. The cables in the current position are no good, so we're going to have to fix that.
Now I'm making some holsters to house the touch plates up near the router head. Timber surfaces attract moisture and the moisture is going to cause corrosion. So instead, I'm going to paint these, glue them together so it makes a nice pocket and then we'll stick it on the machine. I'm after a really clever way of running the probes out when I need them and then putting them back when I don't need them. So what I've come up with is this. I'm using a retractable audio lead. I went for a hack approach and soldered directly on the audio leads and it works absolutely fine. Hey guys, yeah? Take this to Tom, would you? Sure thing, boss. Right, I'm off to Australia with this. Make sure the lathe is reassembled by the time I get back. Okay, boss. See ya. Look out, Australia. Screw the lathe, it's time for some video games. What? New sticker from Adventures with a Very Small Lathe. If you want to see your sticker up on the board, send me an email. I'd especially love it if we can come up with something creative. Send me an email and we'll brainstorm a few ideas. Doesn't have to be anything crazy, let's have some fun with it. I'm planning a Q&A video at 5,000 subscribers and it's a while away but it's like Christmas. It'll be here before you know it and then it'll be gone. So 5,000. If you've got any questions about me, what I do, why I do, drop a Q and I'll provide an A. I'm also going to make a few tweaks to the video format and visual style of these videos. So if you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe. If you didn't like it, give me two thumbs down. Click that dislike button twice. Catch you later. Don't forget, limited edition touch probe, number one. If more people are interested in these, I might make a few more. We'll see.